YouTube channel. My name is Crystal. So, as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be doing like a little get ready with me. Uh, sit with me while I do my makeup. I really don't have nothing to talk about, so it's not like one of those kind of get ready with me. It's like the interesting kind. It's just, I'm going to be doing my makeup. Like, literally. So, um... Yeah, don't think I'm gonna talk about anything interesting because I'm really, I never, every time I do like a talking video, I never know anything interesting to talk about. So, yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with the flow and see how this goes. Hopefully, it goes good. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then I'm gonna come back because my eyebrows take the longest to do. And, well, I did an eyebrow tutorial before on my channel, but that was a long time ago and I honestly don't, what? Well, yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay, I got my eyebrows all the Let me turn my fan down because it's too loud. Okay. Okay, like I said, I just got my eyebrows done. Finished. Um, they look good. Um, they're not my best eyebrows, honestly. So I'm glad I wasn't trying to do like a tutorial on how I do them because this one's a little thicker. It's they just not the best. Like they are right eyebrows, but they're not the best I could do. Like I could do some better eyebrows than this. So I'm about to do my simple everyday makeup that I do every time I want to get cute. Um, it's not gonna be nothing. Dramatic. I don't know how to do no eyeshadow. The only time I ever do any type of eyeshadow is when I just put some contour, uh, the brown contour. I put that on my eyelids sometimes if I feel like being you know, a little special. Um, but usually I don't put nothing on my eyelids. The main thing that I do is I do my eyebrows, my eyelashes, uh, lip gloss, and I conceal any like dark spots I have or any like infections I have on my face. Y'all, look at these eyelashes. I'm so excited about these eyelashes because. I always see all the YouTubers use it, so I feel like I'm really like doing something with these eyelashes. Cause I love getting me some eyelashes, but I always get the regular beauty spray ones. Like I never like go all out with lashes. So um, I went to this store called Riley Rose. I feel like it's new, cause it's new at the at my mall, at um, the Fox Hills Mall. If you live in LA, it's new there, but I don't know if it's a new place overall or if it's just new at that mall. But it's called Riley Rose, and it's kind of like a Sephora slash Ulta, but like a cuter version of both of those mixed together, in my opinion. Cause it's all like pink and stuff inside there but these are house of lashes and they're so cute aren't they so cute like these are my type of lashes like because y'all i lately not even lately like the past year i've been so into eyelashes like eyelashes is where it's at all you need to do is pop on some eyelashes and you don't gotta do nothing else as long as you got a cute face and some eyelashes you're good and that's all I do. I just put some eyelashes on. I'm like, girl, you're popping. But yeah, I'm so mad at my nails because this is one that shop that I go to. And I love going there. They do my, my uh, nails so good because they shape it real nice and sharp, just how I like it. And like, they it, they really take their time in there with like shaping your nails and like making them like super like sharp and just perfect and stuff. But I notice every time I go to a nail shop, I, I'm always breaking nails like a day later or two days later. So I don't know if it's the glue that they're using because it can't be me if it's happening every single time. Like at first I thought I was just real clumsy. I mean, I'm sure I'm a part of it, but like why every single time I go to that nail shop, my nails are breaking. And literally it was two, no, the next day after I got my nails done, it's broke now. But like the pointer finger had a crack in it, like kind of like a little baby split in it. And then yesterday I was at the mall and my nail was on the whole time and I looked down and my nail was gone and then I got home and I found it inside of my inside of one of my shopping bag. So I said that's crazy. <laughs> but um yeah, so I'm mad at that nail shop because they shape they make your nails look so pretty, so perfect, but when you go home them things gonna fall off. So I don't know what they're using, but I was supposed to go back up there today and tell them. But every single time my nails like start coming off like a day later, I never have time to go back, so I never get to go complain to them. So I feel like it's kind of too late now because I got it done on Friday and it's Monday night now. So I feel like they're not gonna really like fix it for free now. So I probably just have to go pay to get my nail fixed again. But it's annoying because why is my nails not lasting? Like that's really annoying. 
So now I gotta find a new nail shop. I don't think I'm gonna go back to that one next time I go to a nail shop because that's ridiculous that it just keep on breaking and I'm spending good money inside of there. So yeah, I need to find a nail shop. If any of you guys live in LA and y'all know a good, good nail shop that do your nails and that they stay on and that they're really good and that they shape them really good and that it's just all just a five star nail shop, please let me know because I need to find new nail shops apparently. Okay, so I always just put on the LA Girl Conceal. I didn't take like the color. This is in the color medium beige. This is the color that I always use. It's basically my exact skin tone. Um, yeah, basically my exact skin tone. Uh, yeah. And then whenever I want to have like a little extra brightness under my eyes, I use this NARS concealer in Macadamia. It's too light for me, <clears throat> but I just put it like in the corner corners just so that it can like kind of open my eyes a little bit more. So yeah, then I just let that sit. Just let it kind of bake and sit and stuff, you know. Just like so. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. And I have this beauty blender. Literally, I don't even want to tell you guys how long I had this beauty blender for. And I don't want to show. Let me just show you guys actually. Okay, y'all gonna talk about me so bad. But look at my beauty blender. Like it's literally like done with. But every single time I go buy makeup, I I don't buy makeup that often. So when I do go buy makeup, I always forget to give me some beauty sponges. I don't like to get the cheap ones because you know those ones kind of be like hard and stuff. So. I like to get this one or the um what's the orange one the real tech i think it's the real techniques i think that's what it's called the orange one y'all know but the real techniques um sponge i like to use that one that one's cheap and then i like to um i want to try the elf one because i heard a lot of people say that the elf one is really good and you know elf is super duper expensive super duper cheap so um because i don't want to be spending 20 some dollars on a beauty blend like that's dumb even though this beauty blender is bomb it lasts me forever but um yeah, I don't want to spend that much money. Like, I'm the type of person, I be trying to find the cheapest of the cheap because the cheapest of the cheap that still work good because I don't like to get, like, bad quality stuff, but I like to find, like, more deals because I feel like the high-end makeup, like, it's good and stuff. Like, all the high-end makeup that I do have, it works really good, but it's just, like, why do I have to spend that much money on makeup? Like, I feel like that's ridiculous. Like, how do you... $30, $40 for concealer foundation all that stuff and how the i never tried the um what's it called the laura mercier pot i never tried that before because it's not like 40 dollars like i i don't know i just feel like that's it's that's ridiculous to spend that much money on just a powder um just a setting powder yeah but i feel like that's pretty ridiculous but i mean i'm pretty sure if i try it i would like really like it and stuff but I just can't bring myself to spend the money on the stuff because it's, that's just ridiculous to me. So I try to find like the stuff at the drugstore or if it's something that I feel like I really like or I see that everybody else is saying like you gotta get this, you gotta get this, then I I might be, I, it gotta be a good day for me to be willing to buy. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm mad. I just bought this primer, right? Dang, this just makes me want to take off the whole concealer. Like, I'm really thinking about being extra and taking off the whole concealer because I bought this primer, and I don't use primer, guys. I don't use primer at all. But everybody always says that you should use primer, so I was like, let me use primer to see how it's going to make my makeup work. And I got this NYX Hydra Touch Primer, and so it's supposed to be like a hydrating primer. If it will show. I really want to use this. Uh, should, I take my makeup? should I take off my concealer? Yeah, I'm gonna take off my concealer. I'm extra, but I really been wanting to use this primer and I forgot because I don't use primer, so like I just completely forgot about the step. Let me take this off and then I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna put the concealer back on. I'll be back. Right here. This witch hazel, I use this to tone my face all the time. It's bomb. I love using it and I'm about to use take off this concealer because I want to use the primer. Basic snatched. I did not say hey Siri. Basic snatched. Basic snatched. Y'all, my skin gets so red and irritated every time I touch it, so it's making me look 
crazy right now, now that I took the makeup off. You see, like, it's just making me look really crazy, but, um, it's just because I'm so light, like, it just makes my skin so irritated and red all the time. So I'm about to use it, I'm gonna be mad if I don't even like this primer, because I just took off all that concealer, all that good concealer, just wasted it, and what if I don't even like it? When I had bought this hydrating uh, primer, I was kind of regretting it. I said I probably should have bought a mattifying primer because I, um, my face was already like oily, so I don't know why I got this. And then my face be looking hydrated and like dewy and stuff already when I put on makeup. So I really don't know why I got this one, but we're just gonna try it out anyways and see how we like. Mm, it sm smells yummy. Okay, I'm not gonna put it there. My nose, boom, boom, boom. I don't even know where you post put primer it's supposed to be like all over your face or just like key spots, but mm -hmm. it's like it's not a strong scent, but like it's like a light, a light little kind of like fresh something, kind of fresh scent that I like. Okay, so now my face is primed. I hope that this makes a difference in my makeup. Cause I just took all of it off. But now, step two. I mean, take two. Let's put this back on. So I got it back on my face, but um, I noticed that when I was taking it off, it kind of made me look a little too light with the concealer. I guess it's the um, the macadamia one that I put right here. It kind of made it a little too light. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to get a lot of the foundation. I'm just going to kind of like, right here, I'm kind of like dip my beauty blender in the inside just to get it a little bit of color on there. And then when I blend it out, I'm going to use this so that it can um, kind of even out the skin tone. Let's see how this works, because I never really did it like this before. Okay, honestly, I don't think that really made a big difference. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I gotta look back at the video, but to me, I mean, it probably did a little bit something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so basically, I'm back cute again. Got my makeup back on. So now, what I like to do is, um, what do I like to do? What do I do next? Oh, I did powder. Okay, so this powder, I never, well, I did use it the other night, but I didn't really, like, try it that good. I want to try it another, uh, try it again. But I got this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder Foundation, and it is in the color Medium 25. So, I'm going to use a little bit of this and see how I like it. Um, usually the powder that I use, I don't usually use the loose powder, I usually just use, oh this is Maybelline, wow, I'm a Maybelline kind of girl, look at me, I got the Maybelline foundation, the matte and poreless powder, which I use all the time, and then the loose powder, look at me using all these Maybelline stuff, okay, but I usually use this one right here, but today I want to be a little bit different, a little bit more extra, for some reason, Whenever, like, I'm not doing a YouTube video, I do, like, the most basic of the basic. I stick to my regular. But whenever I'm doing a YouTube video and I do makeup, then I always be trying to try out stuff. Like, I don't know why I try out stuff on camera instead of trying it out off camera and seeing if it's actually going to work out good. Because I guess I'd be getting too excited about doing makeup on camera that I just start doing all this extra stuff. And, ooh, actually, I like, I like, I like. Because the last time I used it, I had did it with my um, beauty blender. And I kind of like did it 
I did it like the kind of baking way a little bit, but I like when I actually press it into my skin. It feels like it kind of like blends better. Not blends better, but looks more natural and not like cakey and stuff when I do it this way. So I like that. I like that a lot. So, there we go. You guys, I'm really so proud of myself because look at me, I'm really like trying with this YouTube now. Like I'm trying to upload videos more often. I can't like say like I'm super consistent because I don't know like if I will stay this way. Like I don't like, not that I don't know if I'm gonna stay this way because I feel like I will, but I don't want to like say like, oh, I'm about to have these set days I'm about to be, that I'm about to be recording and stuff. Like I'm gonna upload every Sunday. Like I'm not at that point yet where I'm gonna have like a consistent schedule. But, like, I am proud that, like, I'm actually, like, trying to uh, upload videos more often. Because I always was, like, thinking about, like, doing my uploads and stuff. But I never had any ideas. I never. And then I was kind of too scared to kind of not be me, but be me in a way. Like, it's weird. Like, I feel like I was, like, I was being me, of course, on camera. But, like, I wasn't being the goofy me that I usually am. So, um that's just because i i don't know i don't know why honestly like i kind of just got like shy in front of the camera but now i don't want to say that i'm not gonna be shy because i always for some reason i always get shyer when i um when i do youtube videos but like now i just feel like i'm like more better especially since i've been doing videos more often often now i feel like i kind of am getting more comfortable and more used to like the camera more so it's helping me to better my comfortability comfortability and i can't talk y'all okay. that's not nothing to do with not being comfortable i think i really just can't talk like i'd be i think my mind be going so fast and like i'd be so like trying to get my words out that i start messing up on my words <laughs> like i don't know it's weird with me it's so weird oh i like this this is really cool uh, how cute uh, I like the powder. The powder really works. Like, it makes my face look so flawless. I wish that the camera, that's because I'm using a vlogging camera. I only have a vlogging camera. I don't have like an actual like camera camera that's supposed to be for like makeup tutorials and stuff. This is really only a vlogging camera. So it keeps on like making me really, light. let me turn down my ring light maybe. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I don't know. But whatever, it's gonna leave it like this. Okay, so honestly, I don't use contour anymore because I feel like every time I use contour, then it makes me just look too extra out and like it, I don't really be liking it. So, um, but like I said, every time I do a YouTube video, I kind of be extra with it. So I feel like I'm gonna put like a little bit on to make sure that no, I'm not gonna put it on. I'm not gonna put it on. Let me just stick to my basic and do what I usually do on a daily basis, like stop trying to do all this extra out stuff. So first, let me put on my eyelashes because I keep on looking at these and they just look so cute, yummy. Oh, I'm so happy to put these on. Now actually first I'm going to put on my uh, eyeliner and then I'm going to go to the eyelash. So the eyeliner I always use is, I think this is like the eyeliner that goes like to do like the wings and stuff. But I don't use it for that because I don't know how to do a wing. I've been trying to learn how to do a wing since I was in high school and I still can't do a wing for some reason. So I use this inside of my waterline just because I like a dark waterline. Like sometimes it makes me look a little gothic, but in a way I kind of like it a little bit. Cause it just, since my eyes are light, I like to have kind of like dark waterline and like eyelashes and stuff. Cause then it makes the grain stand out more. So that's just my little technique I like to do to make my eyes stand out. But yes, so I'm put, and you gotta really like dust off the brush when you do this because it can really like be too much sometimes, make it, make it a little too dark. So let me just put this on. As you guys can see, it's more like defined right here. So it kind of makes my eyes stand out more and that's the kind of look that I like to go for, for like my basic eye look. Since I don't wear um, eyeshadow like I was saying and, and also just to put a little life to my makeup. Okay, got my concealer on. I mean, got my eyeliner on. For some reason, I feel like I look so white and washed out today. Like, I need some contour on. So, I'm kind of thinking about putting on contour. 
I always want makeup like this, so I don't know if it's just the camera or do I always look washed out like this. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I might end up putting on some. And I use hair glue to put my eyelashes on because it lasts way longer when you do it that way. So, um, and then you literally don't have to worry about your eyelashes hanging off throughout the day. So that's just my favorite way to put on eyelashes. Oh my god, and I was supposed to do vlogmas this year. I had my mind so set on it for the whole month of November. I was like, I'm going to do vlogmas. I'm going to do good. I'm going to post every single day. I'm going to work on growing my YouTube. Um, just work on just better in my video call. I was just about, I had a whole plan for like this whole little vlogmas thing. And I turned around like I've been working so much lately too. So I haven't really had time to think about anything. And like I've been like missing my whole days and stuff. And I turned around, and I saw people posting vlogmas on YouTube, and I looked, and it was already the first, and I didn't start recording. And I'm the type of person, ooh, okay, how do I put these on real quick? I'm the type of person that, um, I need to start something from the very beginning, or I feel like I'm too late, like I feel like I can't do it, or like I feel like it's just tacky for me to try to start like on vlogmas day five, or stuff like that like I feel like I need to start on the first day with everybody else and you know like do it right so when I saw that it was the first I was like dang I guess I gotta wait till next year all right as you guys can see I thought they was gonna be like fluttering like it was gonna look like I got my uh my individual eyelashes done Cause that's what it was looking like in the box but I guess not but it's still cute like this one looks fine to me this one just look a little like limp for some reason, I don't know. They're still cute at the end of the day though. <laughs> I'm not gonna take them off because I still feel like a kitty with them on. So, right, yeah. so I'm gonna get a little bit of powder for contour and kind of contour a little bit because I just feel so washed out. I don't know what the camera is doing to me, but it's washing me out for real. So yeah, I'm about to get the powder. Okay, okay so this is a palette that I had got from Ross a while ago, a long time ago actually. This is, it is his bronzer and highlight. I don't know what it's by, but as you can see, I use this palette out. I need to get me a new like bronzer palette, but um, I think I want to get like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Even though I just said I don't like to get the uh, the high end ones, but sometimes I get the urge to, and right now, like I have the urge to get certain products that are high end. So yeah, so I'm about to just. Okay, let me move this off here. Now I'm about to put on my bottom mascara because I don't know how people could only put on top mascara because I feel like it's, it just looks like something's missing when I don't have on my bottom mascara. This mascara right here. This uh, L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, I just bought another one. But um, the only thing, you just gotta be real careful with this because it can get really messy because it's so much product inside of there and then the brush is so small. Let me show you guys how tiny the brush is. It's like one of these really tiny brushes. And so it's so much product packed on there so it's easy for you like to get the mascara all over the place or make it too chunky on your eyelashes. So you just gotta be really careful when you're doing that part. But, um, what else do I do to myself? I don't know why I'm having like a brain part. Like, I don't know. Oh my god, my ponytail? It's so cute. Like, this is, I'm gonna put the bamboos on. I just feel like it's a bamboo kind of night. Even though, in all reality, I'm not going anywhere. It's, I gotta work early in the morning. It is already eight o'clock. I'm literally about to take a couple pictures and take this off, go to sleep. <laughs> This is just for the video. I wish I was going somewhere with this makeup on and stuff, but sadly I can't. But it's okay. So, I got my earrings on with it. Oh, my highlighter, that's what it is, and spray. So, I use this Wet n Wild highlighter, and I'm so sad because it broke. And so now it's basically like a little powder highlighter inside of there, if you can see. It's basically powdered inside of there, like it kind of, so you gotta be real careful with this stuff. But I really like it, so. Still using it. Get this open. Ooh, it's gonna drop all over the place. I don't want that to happen. Oh, okay. Let me spray my face first. 
And I told you, I'm a, Maybelline might as well sponsor this video because this is another Maybelline product right here. This is the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. So yeah. Locks in makeup, long lasting finish. Yeah, I know. So let me spray this. Usually I use the Mario Badescu uh, spray, but I really like to use that more on my bare face, like when I'm doing my nighttime skin routine or morning skin care routine. Um, but I also use it for setting my makeup just because it's always there, it's just handy. But this still works really good too. This, And then I'm gonna put my highlighter on while my uh, I'm gonna put my highlighter on. I'm gonna put my highlighter on while my setting spray sets into my skin. So watch the magic, y'all, because this highlighter is bomb. Whoop! You guys. This highlighter is bomb. Y'all need to get this in. It was only like four dollars too. Four or five dollars, something like that. It was real cheap. Told y'all I'd be buying the cheap stuff. The cheap good stuff. And this is cheap and this is bomb. So Wait, did I even tell y'all what this was? Oh yeah, I already showed y'all the way and world highlighter. Then on my little nose, the tip of my nose, put it there. And I used to do the bridge of my nose, but I feel like I don't have that type of nose that shows really the bridge of your nose like that. So I put it right here. Right here and right there. And I kinda do that. Sometimes I'll put it on my eyebrows, just, dep just depending on what kind of day I'm having. How glowy do I wanna be? And I want to glow today, so let's put that there. I'm gonna put a little bit something. I just go crazy with the highlighter. Like this is crazy. Like when girls say like they be high, they be crazy about highlighter. Like it's really like a true addiction. Like I feel like okay, I put a little there, a little there, a little touch there, there. Like literally, I'm not even done. It's crazy because highlighter it just it's just so beautiful. Like it just like enhances all of your natural like. Band out spot. It's just a regular um, clear the gloss. Don't use right here. I just use that or Carmax. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more setting spray. Just to why did too much with the highlighter now it's too much. Right, I'm get too much. But it's okay. Man, I did good. Oh, you are glow. I wish I was going slow with this, y'all. Like, I really wish I was. Yes, girl. You did that. You did that, girl. You did that. I'm gonna be mad if I start watching this video back and I do not look as cute as I think I look right now. Like, I probably look real cute in the mirror, but on the camera, I don't look that good. So, I'm gonna be real, 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 real mad. <laughs> If I look okay you guys so this is the end of my makeup look that I do all the time whenever I feel like getting cute I don't try to do too much but then it ends up being a little too much but it's still cute at the end of the day so this is what I will usually do on those kind of days that I want to look cute and stuff I hope that you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you guys are watching this video and are not subscribed please just subscribe because it should be easier on the most but you guys can watch more videos of me and it's just I have more supporters like it'll just all be good all together 
Um, so I really hope that you guys will support me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, leave a comment below on how you guys think this came out. If you guys think there's anything I could do better on makeup, because like I say all the time, I'm not a professional. Like I, I just do what I do. I just do what I feel fits my face and fits my look and what I think looks good on me. So, um, if you guys have any tips for me or anything, just let me know. Like I like any tips. I don't like mean criticism, but like if it's any like kind criticism or anything that you guys can help me with, then I will gladly accept it. Um, also, what else? It was something I wanted to tell you guys. Oh yeah, also stay tuned for me and my best friend's YouTube channel. If you guys have not watched both of our video, um, the two last videos that I posted with both of us together, then um, I'll try to link those in the description or like have those in like the little, you know how like the little videos pop up at the end? I don't really know how to do that, but like I'll try to do that. But um, yeah, I'll put those videos up because I want you guys to watch me and my best friend's video. So, make sure you guys go watch those videos and stay tuned for our, up late, I mean, our uploads on our channel together. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys next time.